1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister has invited investors from Azerbaijan to invest in Pakistan in diverse sectors. Defence Minister has expressed Pakistan's commitment to create a world free of terrorism and extremism. Chinese President has called for a Middle East peace process to resolve the Palestine conflict. Fourth and final T20 of the format series between Pakistan and England will be played at the Oval today. And now the news in detail. Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Isaac Dar has invited investors from Azerbaijan to invest in Pakistan in diverse sectors. Addressing a joint press conference with the Foreign Minister of Azerbaijan, Jehun Baramov, at the Foreign Office in Islamabad today, he welcomed the Foreign Minister of Azerbaijan in Pakistan. He said that during the talks with the visiting dignitary, they discussed cooperation in various sectors, including the energy sector. Ishaq Dar invited the investors from Azerbaijan to invest in Pakistan. He said that he also discussed with his Azri counterpart about the exchange of educational and cultural and paramilitary and parliamentary delegations. The Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister said Pakistan supports the sovereignty of Azerbaijan and appreciated its stance on Kashmir issue. Defence Minister Khwaja Mohammad Asif has expressed Pakistan's commitment to create a world free of terrorism and extremism. Addressing a seminar in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan is taking the lead in fighting terrorism despite bearing unprecedented human and economic sacrifices. The minister said that countries suffered immensely from extremist tendencies posing serious threat to social cohesion, peace and harmony. The minister said confronting the extremist ideology and mobilization of social forces and societal consensus against extremism are the key requirements for sustainable peace. Commending the role of relevant organizations of country to eradicate extremism, he said National Action Plan, National Internal Security Policy and National Counterterrorism Policy Guidelines have significantly curtailed the space for terrorist organizations. Repatriation of illegal foreign nationals, including Afghans, to their homeland is continuing in a dignified and safe manner. According to latest statistics, 13,206 Afghan nationals returned to their country over the last 10 days. Five like 90,445 Afghans have so far been repatriated to Afghanistan. Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission will launch a new satellite, Parkset MM-1, today from Xichang Satellite Launch Center in China. The project management team of Parkset MM-1 has finalized all the arrangements for the launch of this new satellite. The satellite, Parkset MM-1, has been conceived, keeping in view the growing needs of the country in the broad spectrum of communication and connectivity. Based on advanced communication technologies, Parkset MM1 will play a pivotal role in the socio-economic uplift of the country and will prove to be a stepping stone in the transformation of the country into digital Pakistan. Pakistan's ambassador to the U.S., Masood Khan, has said his country is focusing on enhancing product competitiveness to secure greater share in the international market. Talking to executive director DC Soccer Club, Gray Andrews in Washington, DC, he expressed pride in the quality of Pakistani exports. He said our sports goods connect people. Our signature products are promoting human well-being, healthy minds, and healthy societies. Ambassador Masood Khan highlighted that Pakistan is producing 70% of the world soccer balls. Gray Andrews was highly appreciative of the quality of Pakistan's soccer balls. Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for a Middle East peace conference on the war between Israel and Hamas to resolve the Palestine conflict. He was addressing a forum of Arab leaders and diplomats being hosted by China in Beijing. Xi Jinping said Israel-Gaza war should end as it is raging on development prospects of Middle East. 
He reaffirmed China's support to Palestine's full membership in the United Nations and expressed readiness to work for an early, just and lasting settlement of the Palestinian issue. And now cricket. A special ceremony was organized as Pakistan House in London by Pakistan's High Commissioner to UK, Mohammad Faisal, for the national cricket team. Interior Minister Mohsin Nakhvi, who was the chief guest on the occasion, said the national cricket team needs support of the nation at this time. He said the players are confident and will surely perform well in the upcoming T20 World Cup. The fourth and final T20 of the format series between Pakistan and England will be played at the Oval today. The match will start at 10.30 p.m. England lead the series 1-0. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.